Now, President Trump says he's come up with a novel plan to fund the proposed wall with Mexico. He says solar panels are the answer to pay for the controversial wall and would also provide cheap energy. Well, speaking in Iowa, he added that the idea was all his own. I'm a builder. And we're thinking of something that's unique. We're talking about the southern border. Lots of sun, lots of heat. We're thinking about building the wall as a solar wall so it creates energy and pays for itself. Pretty good imagination, right? Good. My idea. Well, let's talk now to James Ramey, who, uh, with a colleague, actually proposed the idea of a solar paneled wall himself last year. Uh, welcome to the program. You're there in Toronto, so you were listening to that, President Trump. It was his idea. What did you think when you heard that? Well, uh, thank you so much for having uh, us on. Um, I'm, I'm speaking for, for me and my colleague, Omero Arigis, who's one of Mexico's leading environmentalists and poets. Um, we wrote an article together in December of 2016 calling for uh, the, the building of a solar border, not a solar wall. We, we are not interested in the building of a concrete slab along 2,000 miles of uh, the U.S.-Mexico border, but rather the building of a long solar array, uh, ideally on the Mexican side, which would solve a whole host of problems between the two countries and would be a major contribution to the combat against climate change. Tell me more. So, uh, practically, how would it work in terms of what your, well, your thinking could be designed? Well, uh, just, just to... Um, just to note, uh, Trump's idea uh, really is his because he is talking about creating a 40 to 50 foot high concrete bunker uh, along uh, a huge expanse of the Mexico-U.S. border with some solar panels sprinkled on top that will supposedly help to mitigate the cost. But uh, Democrats in Congress estimate the cost without the solar panels of Trump's uh, border wall at at least $70 billion. So add to that another uh, few billion for uh, the solar panels, and you, you really have uh, something that is completely uh, unfeasible from an economic point of view. Ah, that's, that, that's uh, interesting. Tell me, if you were able to do it, just how much electricity potentially could it create? How many cities could it power? Well, it depends on how you do it. Uh, in, in our proposal, um, which was then analyzed by two leading um, solar panel experts, one uh, uh, Vasilis Thanakis uh, and the other Ken Zweibel uh, in the Wall Street Journal, uh, they wrote an op-ed on March 9th, uh, saying that uh, the, if you were to do a single strand of solar panels all along the 2,000-mile border, uh, with, without the extras that would include um, sort of chain link fences and, uh, and the um, power stations, it would cost only $1 billion uh, to do the entire thing, which, which is obviously radically less than anything that's, that's on the table now. I suppose critically, and though, critically would be to get somehow Mexico's support. The trouble is... President Trump, in his solar plan, still wants the barrier because the wall is the crucial thing to keep people out in, in his mind. I mean, you talk about a solar barrier as being a civilizing effect. Sadly, exactly. those two ideas don't quite marry up at the moment. Well, it depends on how you approach it. And there's actually something that, that has not been discussed in the media at all, uh, which is that if uh, in parts of the border that currently have no border wall at all, um, a uh, relatively wide solar array were to be installed, uh, you would have, a instead of a tall barrier, you would have a broad barrier. Uh, people trying to cross uh, arms, tra arms traffickers, drug traffickers, and people traffickers, instead of using a ladder to get over a wall, and you, you can buy a, you know, a $50 ladder to get over most parts of the existing wall today, um, you would actually have to have uh, a lot more equipment and a lot more time to get over, let's say, 10 rows of solar arrays. So it actually would have the effect of slowing down uh, the, the people who are trying to cross illegally okay. Uh, okay. for different reasons uh, in, in a way that uh, the, the wall that Trump is proposing would not. James, James Ramey, thank you so much for joining us there live from Toronto. Thank you. Thank you. It's been